Yes, so welcome, my people. What a go and within the shell like long happen la do go in shetty down shetty. Yo, hope you guys are happy and fine, irrespective of what is happening on you know on <laughs> on the streets of social media and of course on the panel of judges and accurate timekeepers. <laughs> Sorry, inaccurate timekeepers. <laughs> I say welcome um to this channel once again, and we hope that everything is going on fine with you. So I'm here to give you all the juicy, juicy things that have happened in the past. Just one day. The past one day. <laughs> oh, Gaju. Hey, you got. Oh, God. I like Gaju. Hey, you got. Mm. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the show. <laughs> you got. I don't know what to start with, but I'm just so. Um, happiness is not a word. I'm not happy. I'm. 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 I'm, I'm maniacally bewildered. I'm. I'm I'm gone beyond. I don't know what exactly is wrong with me right now, but I'm, 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 I'm. There's, there's a mix. There's not a mixed feeling. I'm just upset. I'm, I'm. You know, when you've, when you've been upset to a point where you cannot be redeemed from the upset, upsetation, you're stuck with that upset, upsetting in the upset. So you just like turn it to smile and laugh, and you know, it, it's, it's a mental situation that we must not get to. And when we get to it, the only way we can break out of it, I don't know. But if this happens to be your first time on the show, thank you for coming. I really appreciate you and I pray that you remain here. And the only way you can remain here is by subscribing to the channel. And of course, clicking to the to, to notification this thing, angle and just click on that box to say that forever and forever and forever all. Oh, yes, sir. So you'll be a full-fledged member of this channel. So what do we have to talk about for today? Hmm, three major things. Three major Ogbonga things. There's one. And number one has A and B. Number one A has to do with M. Uh, Ogami Prof, Prof Kemi Brad Pitt Ponda, who happens to be the acting actor of the um, <laughs> NMPC, sorry, um, sorry, NDDC. <laughs> Oga. Oh so he was on the news yesterday, he's still on the news this morning as we speak because the, the, um, the, the overflow of what happened yesterday is still happening right now as we speak. Also, part B has to do with um, his boss, the minister himself, talking about Senator um, Gosula Pabio, who also, in his own political gangsterism, you know, oppressed the oppressor and bullied the bully. You understand? And the, uh, the bully, the bully. Yeah, he bullied the bully. And, you know, they couldn't stop him because he was ready to say things that, you know, even the panel of judges could not bear to, 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 to digest. You understand? So, also, we'll be talking about the death that just happened this morning, um, that was announced this morning, of um, the, 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 the man that happens to be the, the Oga himself. I mean, the one that holds, they say is part of the Kaba, but, hmm. We all know, we all know, we all know who the Kaba is, yes sir. So that one aside, so we also talk about Big Brother Niger and what is happening currently in the house. By the way, if you are here to subscribe again, I'm warning you now, subscribe now or else, or else, what happened in the first Big Brother Africa that had bio in it will happen again. Welcome, welcome. So the acting, acting, meaning that he's an adult actor. Okay, no, it's not adult. Although it's an adult, but it's an actor too. So, is is he an adult actor? Don't leave me. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, so the acting MD of NDCC, that is the Ninja Delta Development Commission. This commission has been set up to develop the NT, the Niger Delta region. And it was brought to the panel of judges and accurate timekeepers as at yesterday. <coughs> to meet the investigative um, people that wanted to ask on the matter of how 81.5 billion Nigerian Naira was spent, you know, in the past few few years. <laughs> and although the senior brother, who happened to be the minister, you know, came with venom and came with audacity and, you know, authority. You know, this one who <laughs> doesn't really know, because he's a professor, he thinks that he will be talking to students, he doesn't know that they will be talking to people who are, you know, <laughs> who have paid. Was <laughs> it in the trade of you know? So um, <clears throat> it was asked a simple question of how students got sponsorships and all those things, and this guy knew that Omo wanted mummy or wanted mu wanted mumu konako, and he said, ah, oh, but what will I now do? I'm the acting empty. Should I not just play my part in this acting script? And so therefore, um, let me just do like I say I want to you know to get, or let me just faint small so they will pour water on my head, and so. I'm not. Excuse me. I'm not. Excuse me. MD is not feeling fine. MD. Please. Please. 
Let me know if is he a good actor or is he a bad actor. One being very very bad and ten being very 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 good. You know. So so in this in this scenario that happened yesterday, we saw the the hand of God. Sorry, the hand of something coming. The hand that tore the mouth of the lion. It came in and was ready to tear apart. You know the mouth of the lion that has been devouring all the money of Nigeria and the Nigeria Delta people. So 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 something came. Something came. Look at him here. Look at him. <laughs> He was ready to tear apart and tear asunder, but the 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 the, 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 the lion used his, his teeth to to bite the hand of Samson and Samson Ferege of Ferege ran away. So when Senator Kwabi was put on the horse to talk, and he, he made reference to some few things, but he wanted to go deeper, go deeper on the matter. But these people were wise. <laughs> they say, oh God, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I say it's okay. Now, is it your okay? Maybe that the one that called you to come and sit there and they say that you have talked enough. It's okay. Stop talking. Uh, why are you talking now? Nah? Keep quiet now. Nah, it's okay. Nah. We have said it's okay. Please come with me. Let us look at this money together because this money <clears throat> is doing my belly one kind, one kind. I can't think properly. So, the breakdown of 81.5 billion naira spent by NDCC. Um, the community relations, I don't know what that means. Community relations, that is to keep the relationship of the community intact. They spent 1.3 billion naira on top of that one. So, for condolences, ah, Jesus, by me. condolences, no, Jesus, condolences, meaning that to come and solicit, to come and give a tribute to the death or the, you know, the, the, the demise or the translation of someone from, from this earth to, to the heaven earth or whatever earth they are going to. They spent one, sorry, 122 million, 0.9 million naira. No, 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 yeah. hmm. For consultancy, they spent 83 million. Kelon consult, just for COVID 19. Go, 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 go. COVID 19, that is the, that, that, that became the, the, the bone of this contention. Um, They spent 31.4 billion naira. Yes, Ah, oh, God. DTA. Whatever DTA means, I don't want to think about it right. And they spent 486 million Nigerian naira. For impress, what are they impressed in? What kind of impression do you want to give people when you spent 790.3 million on impressed? God. For Lassa fever. Hmm. My voice is even going thinner, thinner, thinner. Ah, God have mercy. They spent 1.956 billion naira on top of Lassa fever. Oh God, God punish the devil. <gasps> For legal services, sorry, legal services. Hey God, oh God, 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 my Father, God, Jesus, Lord of God, and the Gabriel. Oh God, God, nine hundred million naira. Hey, God. For maintenance, they spent two hundred and twenty million. What are they maintaining? I heard this one was for maintaining their <clears throat> their own welfare because they went through some hardship times, they went through some rigorous training and some evacuation of some you know you know COVID and body citizens, and so they had to spend two hundred and twenty-two million naira. So for overseas travel, they travel overseas. Was it during the lockdown they traveled or before the lockdown? Anyways, they spent 85.6 million naira on overseas travel. God. Between January and May 2020, they spent 81.5 billion naira. Ah, God, have mercy or not. No, we don't need we don't need mercy. God, strike down thunder! Strike down with thunder and lightning. Strike down, strike down Nigerians. But if God strike strike if god if god is thunder on nigeria who will survive that's the big question the big question for us yeah hmm. but let's go strike and let's start from people at the top you know they say salvation sorry they say judgment comes from the top right and it's already starting 
Sorry, that's not judgment. So that's not that is that is mother nature. Don't let us confuse <laughs> the things of the world with the things of God. But let's move on from this. <laughs> this <laughs> so in the early hours of this morning, in fact, when I was waking up, when my alarm doom panga panga, you know, I woke up and I said, Glory be to God, thank you, Lord, for another day. And I picked up my phone and I checked social media and bola. It was already trending at that wee hour of the time. It was already trending. Isa, but that means Isa, sorry, Malam Isa. Sorry, I beg your pardon. You know, me lying. We, the people of Nigeria, we, 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 we condole, sorry, do we condole or we share our condolence? We, we bring our condolence for, Isa from twice dead, yes, sir. And he died, they say he died yesterday, struck this morning or yesterday, but they say he drove himself, you know, to <coughs> to the hospital where he died. That means that he drove to his... Mm. That's deep, man. That's, that's quite deep. Wow. So, Nigerians, I don't know why Nigerians are jubilating over the death of someone. How do you jubilate over the death of someone? This is not the best time for you to jubilate. You jubilate over a go scout you jubilate over the birth of a newborn you jubilate over freedom if you do you know apprenticeship and they give you freedom you jubilate but how do you jubilate over the death of a fellow human being like you what you should be doing is sending your condo con condolences yes and thanking god for the life well lived but twitter has gone agog and amok with this thing that is trending right now because i don't understand why people are celebrating the death of Okay, first of all, people say that it's part of the inner carcass. Let me read the news, particularly as it stated here. He said, um, Issa Funtua dies. Buhari's closest ally and inner carcass member, Malam Ismaila Issa Funtua is dead. Oh my God, that is authoritative broadcasting. That is amazing. So, people say it is COVID that killed him. So, that's not part of the news. I'm just... <laughs> People are saying that COVID knows how to do its job. So COVID doesn't like to jump the gun. COVID likes to take it, you know, step by step. And COVID is a good algebra student. So he knows his alphabet well. So it starts from A, doesn't jump to. So people are saying that maybe COVID himself, you know, caught malaria. So he just left from A to I. So maybe it's coming back. We don't know. Maybe it's going forward. We don't know. But should, what do you think? Should COVID come back to b and c and d or COVID should move on from i to j and you know on and on like that what do you people think so if you have opinion about that just hit me on the don't hit me in my face so hit me on the comment section and drop your comment there but isa von Tua is late and we also hear many things about isa von Tua. Twitter is still going at gog and people are still going at crazy. Everything is convoluted in this country so if I'm not making sense it's not my fault it's the fault of you know people that try to make sense out of the nonsense that is already existing in this nonsensical situation that we find ourselves. But yes, um, it's going to be with the Lord and may so rest in perfect peace in the name of Jesus. Sorry, Isha Allah, in the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. To the next matter on ground. <laughs> big brother is in town. Yes, big brother. My big brother is the big brother. Yay. Come on, let's do it. Can you start? Yay. Come on. Oh, God, you. <laughs> big brother is in town. And um, <laughs> um, the past few days have become some, you know, some period for Nigerians to come out of their, you know, religious and conservative shelf that COVID had put everybody in. But this Connecticut people, they are, they are, I didn't know too many already. But that's where it starts, Shad. There are always too many, like Osho the Market at the beginning. So at the end, it not look like Banana Island. <laughs> it's all good. It's for the purpose of entertainment. And people are getting entertained in, you know, in diverse measures in this country. But already, 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 a few people are standing out of this Bobo Ero that is currently the big brother lockdown you know, um, addition. <clears throat> and some people are standing on one leg, some people are standing on two legs, while some people are standing on four legs. Yes, they are the goats of this current baby edition. <laughs> one person that definitely stands out out of the pack <laughs> is Dorothy, <laughs> who happens to be the lactose provider of this big border Niger lockdown edition. Mm. I'm sure everyone will like to keep her in the house for as long as possible. <laughs> if not, <laughs> there won't be enough milk. 
in the household and that will mean that you have short supply of protein or even no supply of protein you know the protein that has put <laughs> <laughs> vitamin F, vitamin WQ, vitamin B3, and vitamin double D. <laughs> but there's also one person that is also standing, and this person is not standing on two legs, he's standing on four legs. Already they are doing profiling for this guy. And uh, shout out to all you like people. I don't know if this guy will represent too well or not, but I know you people have ego and you people have, you know, shakara. I hope that this guy will not fall your hand because if he starts to peel fat, which people are already saying on social media that if anything goes missing in the house, suspect this guy. But that's not the main point. That's not what makes him a goat. What makes him a goat is his conversation with Lucy very recently. And that, that conversation shook. It shook the structure of my liver. I don't know what exactly it means, but I will wait. We have days to find out. And we are very patient. Lucy said, what kind of person are you? <laughs> Lincoln said, hmm. I'm a complicated person, an open book, but blank. My God, that is what we call complication. This is what makes the, the good for today. So we'll keep watching and we'll keep giving you updates and jaras and highlights of what happened in people in Nigeria for this lockdown edition of entertainment okay so people we gotta go but before we go i need to wrap up this edition this particular episode with um a video from showeri until we mm. find a country that belongs to all of us and they said to me it's happened to us specifically they said nobody has ever fought a government and won i told them well maybe for the first time you find somebody who can win against the government i don't know mm. if it's me but i know this system is not sustainable yeah. are you likely to run again in 2023 I'm running from now. I don't wait till 2023. <laughs> On that note, hmm, I would also like to run, <laughs> not for president or for politics. <laughs> I'll have to run out of the studio because my time is up. <laughs> I will see you some other time. But hey, before you go, subscribe right now and drop your comment on the comment section. If not, what happened in 1927, February 29th will happen again. So be careful. Subscribe now and drop your comment. I'll see you some other time and in other videos that you can decide to watch right now. Don't go anywhere. We are together forever. All you right here, signing.